Hello, Farmer Fellows. In this video, we will continue on team-based learning. In this video, the following points will be covered. Know how to evaluate team-based learning using peer evaluation process and outcome. Define the guidelines for implementing peer assessment and evaluation and understand the different assessment instrument and approaches. How to evaluate team-based learning? This can be done through comprehensive peer feedback by grading system that ensures individual student accountability to both the instructor and peers. As we can see, this is in contrast to the traditional learning uh, modules or methods in which learners are accountable only to the, to the instructors. The benefit is that when the students know that they will receive grades or points from peer assessment, it will serve as powerful incentive for students to be prepared for and participate in the group work of the course. Why we consider peer assessment and evaluation are essential elements of the team-based learning. It will provide valuable information regarding both the process and the outcome evaluations. In the process evaluations, the peer assessment will provide formative information to help individual students improve team performance over time and develop the interpersonal and team skills essential for their future success. Regarding outcome evaluation, peer evaluation scores provide summative data to the instructors that can be used to ensure fairness in grading by incorporating an assessment of each member's contribution to the success of their teams and make judgment about it. Assessment of team process can be done through team reports or individual reports. Team report includes information about how did you form and start the work, how did you work, what happened and what did you do about it, what have you learned about team, and they will be section of final report. Assessment of the outcome will be done through many grading systems like team, team grade, split grade components contract, shared team grade, peer assess contribution to team, or can be through individual VIVA, individual exam on team where content. So in order to provide a valuable and helpful feedback to the peers, the following characteristics can be considered. This feedback has to be descriptive and specific, honest, censored, relevant, timely, in context, and desired by the receiver, and concerned with behavior when has the control to change it. Beer assessment development. Beer assessment is not a set strict process, rather it may take time to develop. It may also change over time depending on the course content, class size, the curriculum, the university culture, and the students themselves. There is guidelines for implementing beer assessment and evaluation. It will start by setting the expectations. It is important to involve the students in this phase early no later than the third class. Then designing the instrument and the procedures. Here again, it is important to involve the student because this will create ownership for the assessment criteria and associated feedback, and it will raise peer assessment validity. Using periodic formative assessment. This will, this will help lessen the student concern about equity issues, especially when it is incorporated later in the module. It will develop their skills at giving assessment before doing final summative evaluation, and it will promote the team effectiveness. And finally, preparing learners for feedback. This has to be done early in the semester or in the evaluation form. It will be a verbal or pre-written explanation that may be provided to the students. Uh, there are excellent instruments that available for the instructor who lack the time or the interest to design their own. Uh, of this instrument, we have the Michelson 
method. In this method, a student assign team meta score. For example, if the team is six person team, 50 points are given to each student to divide among five team members. The evaluator will exclude his or her self with a minimum possible score of seven, average of 10 and maximum of 13. Then overall score for the individual is calculated by summing the scores received from each teammate. Students also have the opportunity to include qualitative comments. Uh, in this method, we make distinctions among peer performance. Not everyone can just simply receive a 10. The other instrument, the second one, is the FINK method. In this method, students are given 100 points and prompted to divide them among team members based on their degree of contributions. All members then get a peer score, that is the sum of points they are awarded by each team member. The total score will be then multiplied by the individual, uh, by the team ready, re readiness assessment. Uh, score or another group score. The student provide qualitative feedback with justification for the number of points that were assigned. The student may assign all 100 points to each peer. There is no required differentiation of points like in the Michelson uh, approach. The third instrument that can be used is the ball calls. It is a comprehensive quantitative feedback section. The capturing rating on cooperative learning skills, self-directed learning, and interpersonal skills. There will be also qualitative questions, probe the most valuable contribution a person make to the team, and the most important thing a person could do more effectively, help the team feedback is anonymous. Then we have the LEARN method. This involves students in creating the instrument and procedure that they will use for collecting quantitative and qualitative peer evaluation data. This is then used to provide feedback and grading input for the members of their team. Uh, the fifth instrument is the qualitative approach. Using qualitative data, peer comments given are received as a difference maker for students whose grades fall on a borderline the members of their team. Thank you so much.